Get ready with me while I get ready to take my man out for our two year anniversary. Quick note from the future, I planned this pretty early because I wanted to have a full day of my own surprises because I knew that he already made plans for the actual day, so let me know if you want to see a part two showing what he did. So we've been together for two years now, which is crazy, but it also feels like it's been like five years. You know how you can have like so much life within a short period of time? By the way, this is the L'Oreal True Match shade W7 in case you have a similar skin tone to mine. But yeah, so me and my man's Harrison, you guys might have seen him on my Instagram or TikTok, but we met at a house party two years ago and ever since we met, we've been kind of inseparable and we just moved in together in May. So it's been amazing so far. And right now we're still just like finishing getting furniture for the balcony and it's coming out so well. And maybe I'll do an apartment tour at some point or something, but I really like this apartment. It's my favorite one that I've had so far. I'm using the Huda Beauty Sugar Cookie Powder to set my face. So I'm taking him to a fine dining vegan restaurant, which I keep hearing about. And I was at a party a couple weeks ago and I was talking to this girl about the best vegetarian restaurants around. And she mentioned ABCV, which is a place that I've been wanting to go for like a while now. And it keeps just like coming up in different situations recently. So I'm taking that as a sign that it's time to go and finally try it out. This is the MAC Blush in Faux Sure. And I really like this because it kind of adds like, sort of like a highlight, like a very glowy texture. So you don't even need to wear a highlight when you're doing this blush because it kind of just does it for you. But don't get me wrong, I will still be highlighting on top of this just because I like something extra and it's a special occasion. I'm using the MAC Bronzer in Rich Golden to contour and yeah, it's pigmented. <laughs> it's very pigmented. I'm gonna blend that out real quick. It'll snatch your entire face if you're not careful. And then after dinner, I'm taking him to a speakeasy called Bathtub Gin and I haven't been there in a while. I think the last time I went was like maybe five years ago but I really like it and I think it's just a fun place to go after having dinner. And I'm gonna add a little bit of blush across my nose just because I can. And I'm highlighting with MAC Whisper of Guilt because it's just like such a silky and beautiful highlight that isn't too like glittery, like yeah. Yeah, it's not like glittery, it's more of a sheen and that's exactly what I'm going for and it makes my skin just look so hydrated and low-key high key, my skin is really hydrated because I be putting on my serums and my moisturizers and my slugging and my oils, I never forget the oil, don't forget to seal everything in, seal it in with slugging and then seal that in with oil. And then I'm just going to do my nose using my finger, same with the brow bone. Yeah, get up in there. So next is brows and I'm using the Morphe Brow Pencil in Java and Maybelline Brow Gel in Dark, nope, Deep Brown. I haven't done my brows in so long. Like I just stopped doing them and just let them grow out and be wild like me. And I'm kind of loving it and also saving time. Not that time is even the consideration. I just like stopped doing them and they look good to me. <laughs> I just like to fill them in a little bit at the front because this one's like a little bit more sparse and then put some brow gel to add a nice little lift. Do you guys remember when Instagram brows was a thing and people would fill their brows in with just like black and then they would do that like line across to line it up and then cover it with concealer and have like a thousand pounds of makeup on their brows and it was just like the hottest thing at the time. Like that was crazy. But I do like this low maintenance brow routine and I like when people laminate their brows. I've never laminated mine, but I love when y'all do it. I probably will one day. I'll get one of those at home kits because I am a DIY girly. This is the Kyra Weiss Beautiful Eye Balm. I hope that's how you say it, but like, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've never tried this before, so let's see what it does. I like the texture so far. And I always forget to use an eyeshadow primer. I don't know why, but I'm trying to remember these days. I have this Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow in Lithium and it's so sparkly and so pretty and Lithium is my favorite Nirvana song so like obviously this was made for me and it's look yeah you already saw it's just so beautiful and like iridescent and also like has the perfect amount of glitter and I'm wearing an LBD tonight so I can do any type of color or 
eyeshadow, whatever I want. Because a little black dress is neutral and you can do whatever else you want. You can actually just do whatever you want anyways. And it's too late for him to leave me because we already live together. <laughs> And I want to do some easy liner because I'm not really feeling like putting in all that effort for liquid liner right now, especially because I'm going to put lashes on top. So I'm just using Max Smolder, which is just a black eyeliner, and I'm going over the area where I would put liquid liner as well as tight lining to get just a really nice black. And I'm using this little angle brush to blend it out and just kind of smudge it out and make it less harsh and then also add a wing on the corner. I'm just smudging it for a very soft wing because it doesn't have to be perfect and now it's easier to do your eyeliner. I'm just gonna add a little bit on my waterline but only like the outer third just so it connects and it adds like a little bit of definition but it doesn't make the whole under eye darker because I want to have bright eyes tonight like the band. Now I'm gonna use some mystery lashes and some duo lash glue and I'm pretty sure these are MAC something somethings and I've worn them before and then I put it in my like reusable eyelash case so I can use them again and I never label them so sorry I don't know what these are but they're cute and if you're hearing a bubbling sound don't mind that it's just my hydroponic machine that I keep next to my vanity so I can grow lettuce and trust me it's a great idea to grow lettuce inside your own apartment because there are no bugs if you grow it hydroponically there's no dirt nobody has touched it you don't have any pesticides you can rip off a piece whenever you want some fresh lettuce and it will be the freshest lettuce you've ever had and you don't have to go to the grocery store last minute because your lettuce is old okay lashes on and i want to just show you the cute little gift that i'm giving him tonight and don't worry it's not that it's an airpod he lost his right airpod so i figured i would go find one online that would be compatible with his and just give it to him in a cute little box that I definitely bought like a nose ring or something in. Last is lips and I'm using Cork by MAC which is my current favorite lip liner and I am just doing a very basic lip. Oh this is so hard to talk and do. I'm doing a very basic lip because I'm probably going to be kissing that man so I don't want to do anything crazy. So I'm just going to blend it in a little like that's good. And then I'm going to use a clear MAC lip gloss on top. My cousin Mo just told me that this is called the 5% tint. Have you guys heard that? Just like the brown lip liner and then a clear gloss. I'm just going to use the tip of this gloss to just like blend it a little bit. I definitely put too much gloss on. Okay, there we go. That's makeup done. And then for the dress, I'm wearing this cute little backless number and I don't know where she's from. And I'm pairing it with this bag because she cute and she holds everything that I need tonight. And I like the options. You can wear it high, you can wear it low. I like this one. I don't know why. It's just fun to hold. So I have my little gift in here and then I also have a letter that I wrote him but I have carpal tunnel so my hands are so bad and writing is like literally so painful to me. So I had to write it throughout like a couple months just do like a few sentences each time and just like eventually filled up a letter. <laughs> then I'm using Fix Plus because I need to set this makeup. Patrick Ta fan. Oh, this is my favorite part. I love this. It's so cooling. It's so good. Get you one of these. <laughs> Round two. Just because. Makes me feel safe, secure. My makeup's not going anywhere. Just like my man's. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these platform pleather sneakers because I don't do heels. I don't know how y'all do it. I just can't. Like, I feel like death every time. So I like to have platform and just like a nice shoe for special occasions. And, you know, it's a little grunge. It's kind of me. So, so this is a sneaker and dress kind of day. But yeah, that's all for today. And I am off to meet a hot date.